So finally, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 have been remade. A day I never thought would come. Countless hours in my childhood were happily spent riding around on a digital skateboard, making up for my lack of real life skateboarding abilities. Searching for tapes, hidden easter eggs, and trying to land the biggest combos was always so much fun and I have many great memories from the early days of this franchise. Not so much from the later days. So today we thought we would put out something a little different and bring you the top 5 easter eggs from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remake. Number 5. The references to COVID-19. Now, I don't really know how long it takes to make a video game, but I'm assuming a while. So, these little easter eggs were probably added fairly close to the end of the game's development. Vicarious Visions added lots of little references to the awful pandemic that we have been going through for the last few months. Including being able to add a face mask to your created character, finding a huge stock of toilet paper, and seeing the odd message about masks and social distancing throughout the game. Number 4. The tapes. One nice little addition to this release is the fact that tapes are back. Of course, this is a remake of the early games, so they should be, but if you look closely, you will see that the tapes are labelled with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1999-2015, the release dates of the first and last Tony Hawk's games. I'm assuming that this is as a slight dig to the previous developers for essentially killing off the series. Number 3. Tony Hawk Statue In the secret underground section of the Marseille map, we can find an awesome statue of the man himself, Tony Hawk. I thoroughly enjoy little easter eggs like this one, so if we have missed any hidden Tony Hawk monuments that you may have spotted, make sure you let us know in the comments down below and we will have a go at finding them ourselves. Number 2. Jeff Grosso Jeff Grosso was a legendary vert skater that very sadly passed away earlier this year. The game pays tribute to him by displaying posters of him in the warehouse with the words Grosso Forever. A real nice tribute for an amazing skater. And number one, Banjo Championships. Finally, in case you are not aware, the original developers of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games were Neversoft, iconically remembered for their gruesome eyeball logo. But they were not just known for their skating games. You may have heard of another franchise that they started, Guitar Hero, one of the biggest franchises of games to hit consoles over the last few decades. As a small nod to this, Vicarious Visions added some small boxes in the warehouse map with the title Banjo Championships, with a design that is suspiciously similar to Guitar Hero. In my opinion, this is a really cool little easter egg and uh, a great nod to a fantastic company that left us with some brilliant games. Now, if you're not aware, they were actually merged with Infinity Ward, the guys that brought us some of the Call of Duty games. So, so hopefully we're still going to get some more great original games from the same developers in the future. So how do you guys feel about classic games like this being remade? I know it's a topic of controversy as many people just want new and original games to be released, but many others like to see how their favourite classics would look and feel in a modern day remake. I'm curious to know your thoughts, so leave a comment down below and let us know. And if you've picked up the Tony Hawk's remake, what do you think? Thanks so much for taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe and leave a like, it would really help us out. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time on Explore.